peace be upon you. Welcome to the Way to God. What you will discover in this episode is the heart of your journey toward salvation. Moments from now you will unveil an enemy that is so close, of which you cannot see nor hear, but you can certainly feel its presence. While you elusively think you are enjoying life, it would be ruthlessly torturing you. It is your worst enemy. By now you must be wondering what it is. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Your worst enemy is yourself that lies in between your sides. Yes, you are your own worst enemy. Therefore, knowing who you truly are is what will enable you to conquer it. Achieving victory over your own self requires a deep understanding of your essence and your being. What is the human self? The human self is a combination of a physical being and a spiritual soul. Surely you can realize your physical body but have you ever wondered what your soul is? Astonishingly, the secrets behind the soul are beyond imagination. In your soul lie many signs and mysteries in which God can be known through them. The knowledge we can reach about it is very limited. However, using this little information we have is enough to lead us to light. In every soul, good and evil exist equally. During life, both good and evil sides battle each other to rule the human. Sadly, without real determination to purify the soul, evil will slowly take power over your actions and transform your body into a slave of wrongdoings. It is really important to admit that an unpurified soul does not only corrupt the faith of the individual, but unjustly the people around. This makes the self your worst enemy. It is now clear how the soul drives the body. But then, do you not wonder how the soul is driven? God Exalted provided us with instinct forces that we can use for good or evil actions. The two main forces are anger and desire. Anger created in you to build your courage, but misusing this force leads to sin through cowardice and irrational actions which harm you and others. Desire it deals with sexual and worldly needs, created in you to maintain our species. It also drives you to desire the means that bring you closer to God. Using this force wisely leads to contentment and chastity. Misusing it, however, leads to greed and gluttonous. You need to ask yourself, are you mainly driven by courage or fear? Are your desires bringing you closer to God or are they separating you from Him? When highly driven by carnal forces, people start to behave according to the commands of the evil soul. This repetitive behavior transforms those actions into habits. If we ponder over sins people commit today, Painfully, we can conclude that most of them are addictions. Knowing your enemy means that you should become more aware and conscious about your feelings and emotions in everything you do, recognizing exactly what activates your evil side. Knowing oneself means understanding its selfishness, vanity, cowardice, lust, temper, laziness, worry. Start now by analyzing your deeds and habits. Determine which habits serve your goals and which ones don't. Be certain that as long as you're breathing, hope still exists. It doesn't matter how many bad habits you've developed. 
Be certain that you can diminish the evil commands and become whoever you want to be. All it takes is determination to break free from evil and willingness to feel pain. If we want to be free, we must pay the price of freedom.